the beginning of this project was inspired by the horror that goes on with chocolate. So much cocoa grown in the Ivory Coast is dependent on child slave labor. In 2001, it was found that children were being trafficked to participate in cocoa harvests in Ivory Coast. It's a particular scandal that it seems to be growing. The scale of slavery in the 21st century seems to be getting larger. I'm glad to be doing something exactly the opposite. I started this chocolate project as a result of living in Grenada for years and the idea of revolutionizing the connection between cocoa farmers and the finished product. So what we're doing here is roasting cocoa beans. I break the bean under my nose and I smell the gases that come out when I first break it. It was certainly a motivational factor to be able to create a chocolate that is the furthest possible thing from child slave labor, indeed the opposite. I met Mud years ago. Next thing we know, he set up the chocolate factory. It is really something that put Grenada on the map, I would say. Works all day and night. That's smooth. Always busy. I've been growing cocoa about 30 years now. Well, for the last two years, things are rough. We are not walking. Things in the land are slow. You know, people are frustrated. We've got cocoa at risk. We're spending you know, ten to fifteen thousand dollars per week on cocoa, but our sales aren't keeping up. The kinds of emotions that people express in their relationship with chocolate are much more complex than just kind of feeling good. It's almost a drug, you know. It's a legal drug, but it's good for you. <laughs> hey, DJ, press rewind and come again. Hey, hey. When we started, there were very few artisanal chocolate companies doing what they call now bean to bar. We have to replace the anonymous market with an intimacy of direct contact. Artisanal production does bring the human being and the freedom and human rights of the human being back at the center. These products have more of a voice, and this is really about bringing other values to these formerly narrow consumption decisions. By the grace of God, things might work. I never say by the grace of God, I always say by the grace of chocolate. Dad also told us there was going to be an Oompa Loompa here. Well, we're all sort of Oompa Loompas. 